UFT 1502 gave us a feature called Object Identification Center. So that's the feature which I was actually looking for past 15 years, in fact. Okay, because that feature was there in Windrunner, but not in QTP at that time. I thought that why they have not given that feature. Let's see that feature. Okay, how does that feature look like? So the problem is when it comes to object repository, I wanted to add selected objects. Like, you know, I wanted to add, you know, uh, username, password, okay, cancel. There are four objects out there. So what I have to do, I need to click here, add one by one object. So this is one feature. Or else we have one more feature that is, and click here, select a parent object and filter. I want a button types, I want all text boxes, something like that. I need to select that filter condition. Let's say I wanted to select only button and the text boxes, text boxes are edit boxes, click on OK. Then it gets added only buttons and text boxes. This is the feature which we already have, which we already have. But here, if you observe, so I want to add OK, cancel, as in name, password, but I may get some more elements, some more objects, which I don't want. So this is a problem with that feature. And back in 2005, at that time when I uh, learned Windrunner, 2004-2005, uh, we have something called, you know, selected object. That means okay, clicking on it and then select, okay, I wanted to add this object, this object, this object, this object, like that. I will be selecting those objects and those objects get added in the repository. So that's a cool feature. They have not given that feature in UFT or QTB at that time. After almost 20 years, that means, you know, after we uh, got QDP, you know, now we have the feature, right? It's too late, but fine. So this is called Object Identification Center. This is actually created in UFT Pro, that is LeanFT, UFT Pro, right? UFT Developer, that's what we call it. There are multiple names for it. They are not getting success with those names. We have Object Identification Center where we can select multi-object. Here we have multi-object spy, right? So how to do that? Okay, let me remove some objects from here and then we'll show you. Let me open that standard flight application. So first I'm not selecting this, clicking on this and then I'm specifying that, okay, we can add this. So it is getting added and we can able to highlight. And we can select which to which object repository these objects will get added, right? So now you can see that there is no object got added now. And observe, I'm clicking on add object. I've clicked on that and observe that. So one object got added, right? So let's say I wanted to add multiple objects. Yes, you can still do that. So multi objects, by I'm clicking on that. By clicking on it, it gets enabled. Now, by additional objects. So this is multi-object, right? Just click on it. So the number is showing there, one, two, three, like that, that's it. Stop it. Now, so what name you wanted to keep? I wanted to keep some OK button or any other name. Yes, you can do that. Cancel, password, like that you can specify or you can specify some name like, you know, it shows password capital and this should be displayed, agent name A should be like this. So if you wanted to do that, yes, you can still do that and clicking on add object, all these objects gets added into a repository. You can see that, okay, cancel, agent name, password, everything got added here, right? There is that, yeah, here. So you can select what object to get added, what object should not get added. You can even delete them. You can click here, select that object, and then do something more. If you wanted to add an image, you can do that, right? You can, if you wanted to add, copy the uh, code, you can still do that, right? So let's see something more. Is there anything they've given here? 
Uh, okay, I just close it and I've selected everything. And do we have a drag and drop feature here? No, yes, yeah, oh, we have the drag and drop feature from here to port, right? So am I getting anything here? Drag and drop on it, yes. So what happened? So it is generated port. <laughs> so it's a little late, right? But it's generated some code here. So how do I have a specific order here? Okay, let me see that. Is there any way we get some specific order here? Yes, okay, I want to have password next. Yes, oh, you always have, you, are, you even have this feature. You can drag and drop an object only in view of T in the current action, okay. Okay, in current action, you can do that, but not here. That's what they're saying. So while selecting, if you follow a specific order and it will be easy for you to drag and uh, for creating code and all. And you can even specify one more. You can create a, a, a shared repository and add all these objects to that shared repository. That is also possible. So this is a good feature, but I don't know why they've taken this much amount of time for uh, uh, creating this feature. Okay, fine. And one more option you have that is hover mode. What is this hover mode? Okay, let me select it and then uh, for instance, I'll delete it and then we'll show you, okay? I'll just hover on, oh, oh, oh. I need to make sure the application is in active mode. Yes, I'm hovering. Hover, hover. Okay, I need to place the mouse for one second or so. Right, so then only it gets hovered. Yeah, you can see that on hovering, it is adding, not by clicking. You can even specify that hover timeout here, hover timeout, okay, you can do that, right? So these features they have given in UFT 15.02, right? And, and you can see more help here. So I think we've covered you can take the images by objects and everything you can see more help here and by going to uh, what's new you have to help what's new and uh, object identification center this is going to be the next generation object spy okay thank you for watching let's explore